your second question on the AQA Unit 1 paper is your 8 mark data question. Um, this requires you to pick out two relevant points of comparison within the, within the data and for each point of comparison you need um, two data points and two supporting dates. So essentially if you don't have um, four dates and four data points in your final answer, you're not going to get full marks. And the last thing you need to remember is that um, your units of measurement also need to be correct. If they're not, again, you're going to get marks taken away. Um, so there are three different types of points of comparison that I'd like you to think about. Um, the first one is peaks and troughs. The second one is um, trends, and the third one, absolute levels. Okay, and that's the order in which you want to be looking at these. So you want to be including peaks and troughs first, uh, then trends, and then absolute levels um, as your kind of last choice priority. Okay, so we're going to take a look at exactly what I mean by different types of point of comparison by taking a look at Jan 2013, question number six. Okay, so here we have um, two data series, one for fruit and one for sugars. You notice on the vertical axis, um, they're, they're both measured in percentage annual change. Um, so the first type of uh, point of comparison that I'd like you to take a look at is peaks and troughs. And actually, this is two separate points of comparison, and you'll see exactly what I mean by that in just a second. So if you take peaks, for example, all you're going to do is look at the high point um, of the data series for fruit, the high point of the data series for sugars, and, and then note down the, um, the dates and the actual percentage change. So in this case, um, the high point for fruit, the peak is in 2001 at about 8.7%, whereas for um, sugars, the high point is in 2011 at about 7.5%. Um, there is some, some margin for error in the mark schemes. Okay, so that's peaks. Um, you can also look at troughs. So you're looking at the low points of the data series. And you notice in uh, for fruit, your lowest percentage annual change is in 2004 at about minus 2.8%, whereas for sugars, it is in um, 2000 at about um, 0.8%. Okay, so that's peaks and troughs. And actually, if you included um, two data points and two dates of peaks, two data points and um, two supporting dates for troughs, you could actually pick up all eight marks. Those are two separate points of comparison. Okay, but failing that, your next uh, point of comparison that you want to look at is trends. Again, very, very easy. All you're going to do for each data series, so separately for fruit, separately for sugars, you're going to take the start of the data series and the end of the data series and simply say whether there's uh, an increase, a decrease, or the trend tends to be fairly stable. So in this case, um, if you're looking at Sugars. Sugars is the easiest one to, to, to note here. You can see very clearly that from 2000 to 2011, there was an increase in the percentage annual change. So starting in 2000, you have a percentage change of only 0.8%, uh, whereas in 2011, you have a percentage increase of um, yeah, what 7 7.5, 7 7.6%. Okay, so two dates, two figures. Um, that indicates the trend of the data. Uh, similarly for fruit, you can see there's there's approximately there's an approximate um, upward trend similar um, to the the trend in sugars. Um, so again, taking your the start point of the data series and the end point of the data series. So in 2000 for um, for fruit. Uh, your percentage annual change is about 0.4%, um, whereas for in, in 2011, the percentage increase is about 5.8%. So again, there's an increase over that time series. Right now, the, the final point of the comparison that um, you'd want to include, so if, if peaks and troughs aren't readily identifiable, which they, in, in honesty, they, they really shouldn't be, and if, if trends... Um, again, if you're, you're struggling to include trends in your answer, um, go to absolute levels last. So um, just across the data series, which is higher, fruit or sugars? Um, in my opinion, it's quite obvious that, that sugars, the percentage annual change in sugars, is higher than the percentage annual change in fruit across the entire data series. Um, and in terms of your supporting evidence, either you can pick out um, one year in which um, in which this is the case. So if you look at, I don't know, 2011, a uh, percentage increase for sugars is 6.4%, 6.5%, whereas percentage increase for fruit is only 
um, about 3.8 percent okay so that's one valid way of supporting you that that um, absolute levels point of comparison or alternatively uh, alternatively you could simply state that um, generally speaking the percentage increase for sugars is greater than the percentage increase in fruit and then pick out exceptions um, to this trend so um, one notable exception is obviously going to be uh, 2001 where the percentage increase in fruit is massive at 8.5 percent whereas the percentage increase in sugar is lagging behind quite significantly at only 1.7 percent okay so that's all your different types of points of comparison okay so just to recap the important points here um, you're going to need two separate points of comparison and then within each of these points of comparison you're going to need two data points and two supporting dates so all in all that's going to be four data points and four supporting dates um, in terms of your order of priority when it comes to your types of points of comparison remember go for peaks and troughs first that's the easiest uh, then trends and then failing that if you're really struggling uh, go for absolute levels last of all um, and then one more thing to remember, make sure your units of measurement are correct and you just can't get full marks unless you're including the right unit of measurement. Thanks very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more tutoring videos. Remember that full notes and other resources are available on my tutoring website at idktuition.com. And if you'd like me to cover anything in particular, please leave me a message in the comments below or on Twitter at TomDavies32.